Wah, bah, 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 bah. <laughs> Oh, I guess that's going to be my intro from now on. What's going on, YouTube? It is your boy, MJ, here with our brand new series called Football Stories. You know how we get down. Let's get into the video right away. Says Manchester City. Manchester City. Manchester City. It is what Manchester City. The city. You have a Manchester City. To Manchester City. If Manchester City. January, Manchester City. It's Manchester City, just Man City. Oh, by the way, the city. City. Uh, Manchester City fan. Manchester City, Rich. If Manchester this one finishes, Manchester City cannot take part in any European football. It doesn't include this season. Uh, UEFA says for seriously misleading uh, them, European football's governing body, and for breaking financial fair play rules. Um, they were found guilty initially of uh, falsely inflating sponsorship revenues, uh, fined £25 million as well, €30 million. Euro. fan in the world had something to say about this, but Manchester City's chief executive, Fran Soriano, had Great his chamber say. of financial wrongdoing and non-cooperation. How do you answer those two charges? The most important thing I have to say today is that the allegations are not true. They're simply not true. And in terms of the owner putting his own money into the football club via sponsorships, the owner has not put money in this club. That has not. We are going to need a bigger boat. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. Football fans went too surprised. It wasn't that we've been told that a selling club like Southampton had broken all records, but the best we could do for evidence was probably this. They won, but they cheated. See, they Oh, what changed UEFA's mind? Well, enter 30-year-old Portuguese superhero and alleged hacker Rui Pinto, who did some great reveals in conjunction with this Spiegel, as well as also other newspapers. You know what? Don't take our word for it. Let's hear what his we MP go. has to say about hacker him. criminal or whistleblower. He's obviously a whistleblower, namely, according to the definition in the fourth anti-money laundering directive, he has already helped uh, the authorities of Spain recover millions from Mourinho, from uh, uh, Ronaldo. Operate with them? Why is he in jail then? That's, that's the thing. I mean, not only has he not been asked by the Portuguese authorities to cooperate with them in recovering assets, namely uh, that were evaded through tax crimes and money laundering and so on, in the context of the, uh, the football leaks in which it was a major whistleblower, but is in jail. And Pinto, the hacker that brought down Man City. And that's why I urge all football fans to join the Free Rio Pinto movement. I think Man City fans or all football fans, I think one thing we can agree on is we would like corruption kicked out of the game. Regardless of our feelings about FFP, I think the most important thing is the fact City signed up to it and allegedly broke it. Therefore, they deserve some punishment. That's it. That's it, guys. It's your boy MJ signing off. Before I go, I'll give Rio Pinto the last word. Enjoy the rest of the video. Do like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace! My father was always saying don't be so um, so fanatic because football one day will ruin your life. Modern football is business. Uh, uh, made, me, made me sad to be honest.